Hello, this is Melissa here, and I'm going to show you Khan Academy Kids, which is on my screen, which is the um, bottom left, sorry, bottom right. Here's the icon for it, so you can see what it's like on your iPad. I'm going to press it. Khan Academy Kids. Okay, so I am um, considered a parent, and I just enrolled myself as a student. Um, and I said I have five plus, but you have the option to say two, three, four, or five plus. So I'm going to press mine. So if you go to the house, um, it just has some fun games. So I'm just going to show you right now. Tap and count all the hats on top. So this is a great way to um, integrate a fun, engaging game with math or reading. Tap Here and count math. all the hats One, on top. Two. Three, four. Wow! Did you see those sparkles go to the truck? That means you got it right. So it's little now put like your this. favorite hat on the cat. So, so we just did counting, and now they say, "Okay, let's." What pick a neat a hat. hat! Tap me if you ever need help. So I'm gonna press home and the give a hat the to the cat and, and the dog. And I love how they say to press this little um, bear if they ever need help, because that's really helpful for kids because. Um, they hear it being said to them, but also they see Give a the hat icon. to the cat and the... Okay, so here's the main menu. If I click on myself, this is how you log out when you go back in. I'm going to go to this little book at the top left corner. And this is where you have your library of um, books. Um, and then you have ABC, 1, 2, 3, reading, and logic. So I'm going to play an ABC game. Let's do um, Earth Day spell words. Drag the letters to spell the word. So this is box. a great way um, to show students what letters are. F. And it says the letters. So if students are having trouble um, identifying their letters, this is a great o. way to show them what letters are, how they're formed, what they sound like, and I F. like how the vowel is in a different color. Good work. And you it shows spelled a the word. So, Fox. They're seeing the picture. Drag the letters to spell the word yak. They're seeing the picture and the word, and I like how the little um, icon in the bottom right corner s verbally says the direction. Y. A. K. Great! You spelled the word yak. I'm gonna do one Drag more. Drag the letters to spell the word bud. See, I'm gonna show you what it's like if they get, don't get it correctly. Oops. So it's saying, think again. Drag like the letters to spell the word. B. Bud. U. D. Awesome. You spelled go. the word bud. I like how. Drag the letters to spell the word nut. I like how the little icon also um, praises the student for getting it right. So I'm going to go back to the home button. And I'm going to show you a one, two, three game next. But I just want to show you how many games are available for ABC. I love how there's tracing that helps students that need that extra handwriting help. But also, it helps students who just need help um, identifying letters. So if they're constantly tracing it, they'll be able to read them and identify them. Because I always say, readers are writers and writers are readers. Okay, one, two, three. Also here many many games I like how there's an earth day um theme throughout all of them just to expose students to that holiday i'm going to count gonna count one through four hi help me count to four let's count my socks one two three four that's four socks let's count to four again one two, two three three Tap and count peck socks. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. You did it! Let's do some more counting. Again, I love the praises this little icon gives Which you. pillow has four shoes? So here Tap we have it. comparing, which is a great skill. Good job! I like how this counting game is Tap the pillow with games. three shoes. I'm going to press the one that's not correct on purpose, see what happens. Hmm. 
So the saying, it's saying, think again. Tap the pillow with three shoes. And again, the icon tells you the directions verbally, which helps students um, know what to do. Awesome. Let's count some more. Numbers are everywhere in our world. This is the number three. And this is how you write the number three. Here's a number three. Here's a number three. Here's a number three. Look around to see if you can find the number three. This is a great way to expose students to numbers. Having them Tap search the for number, number three. Nice job. You found the number three. Now tap the number four. Keep it up. Let's tap like some more numbers. numbers too. Let's see how they're different. Tap the numbers in order. One, two, three, four. Good thinking. The numbers are out of order. Tap them in the right order. This activity would be great for some of even my first grade students because some students have a hard time knowing the sequence of numbers when they are out the of order. The numbers are out of One, order. One, two, three, tap them. four. You so tap again. them in order. I love counting. I'm gonna go back. Though the um, the counting game, even though it was only one to four, it exposes students to multiple different activities to practice counting. And it wasn't just, okay, count for me, count these things. It was, hey, put these numbers in order, compare these numbers, count these objects. So students will not be bored because these are engaging games. Okay, lastly, I'm going to show you a reading activity. How about front and back cover? Let's learn about videos. the front and back covers of a book. This is great, like for the PC front cover students. has the title. It tells us what story we're going they have to print read. Concepts. If they don't, this is a great Tap way to expose pigs them on the print front print cover. Concepts. Way to go! This book is called The Three Little Pigs. Also, it's a the back cover is at with. the end of the book. That's after you finish the story. Tap the wolf on the back cover. Nice one! That's the back cover of the book. The front cover is on the left. Tap the front cover. That's the front cover. The back cover is on the right. Tap the back cover. Also, the icon, the little bear icon saying, okay, right and left, students are for, get familiar with right and left hands. The back cover the right is on the right. Is my first grade Tap still the back that. cover. Again, I love the verbal directions. That's the back cover. And now you get to pick the, the book. Draw the cover of your favorite book. Um, so this is a great way to expose students to writing. Maybe my favorite book, Cinderella, I know I wrote it too big. But students design their own cover. Why not? That's fun. So, that was front and back cover. So, as you can see, there are many things to do on this Khan Academy Kids. And I really hope you implemented this in your classroom because it's free and it inspires the love of learning. Um, and it will help students meet their goals. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.